I'd like to, to talk some about uh, coal. Yes. Uh, Schuylkill County is a major part of this district. It's yes, Congressman it Holden's home area. Yes. It's also where uh, Senator Argyle is from, mm -hmm. running on the Republican side. Mm -hmm. The economy in Schuylkill County and, and all of northeastern Pennsylvania is really depressed. Yes. Uh, coal is not a good energy source. It's a very dirty source yes. of fuel. Yes. These people desperately need jobs. Um, what ideas do you have in terms of converting the energy industry in Schuylkill County from coal to green? Well, there are several um, ideas that are on the table. I think that, uh, first of all, we have to talk about the coal to oil um, um, initiative that apparently has totally gone by the wayside. I don't know where that is. I think that has died. Um, and the question is why? Why did that die? But we also, as you said, uh, we do need to look at green energy. There are some opportunities there. And I know that there are some new technologies. As a matter of fact, there's an article in The New Yorker this, uh, this week's New Yorker, uh, I read a whole variety of, of um, articles and um, of periodicals and books. And this is important because it talks about a young congressman um, in Virginia whose um, e economy in his district has been devastated and he's looking at green technology as um, an alternative fuel sources. And I was reading that about two o'clock this morning, but let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the ideas that he has and I'm going to I'm going to print them actually. I'm going to find out about their validity and viability and I'm going to I'm going to pull them and I'm going to put them on my webpage. And I'm going because I think what we need to do is to have a new discussion around the new technology. Now let me say this though. We're going to have to move away from coal. I understand the importance of coal. And I understand that the anthracite region has its cleaner uh, burning coal. I understand that. And I understand that there has been a historical reliance on coal, but we have to move away. We have to join the 21st century. And we have to do it in a way that doesn't un unduly disrupt um, families and their lives. But we can do it through retooling. You know, we have smart people everywhere. And we, everybody can learn, but we have to give them the opportunity. So there are several new technologies that are, that are out there. There's one that actually uses um, a form of grass and, and creates energy from it. We need to invest in that kind of thinking. It's the creativity around that, and it's being done. And then we need to harvest all of that energy, if, if I may use that word in a different context, harvest it, and then decide how we put people to work, how we invest. If you look at what China has done, China has done around alternative fuel sources is fascinating. We need to be able to look at that and say, what are we doing here? We need to be able to compete.